happy Sunday afternoon here. Sorry for the delayed, delayed、um, stream. We slept in this morning, but today now we're experiencing technical difficulties. Although, thank you so much for everyone who stayed on <laughs> waiting for us、uh, to make our start.、Uh, and we really appreciate you having so many people wait for 53 minutes just to hear、uh, Kung Zeros apologize for being late. We did sleep in.、Um, That was a lovely picture that Kong Zeros posted of me, too. I recently got LASIK done, hence the reason why only the eyebrows are done right now.、Um, it's going to be another week and a half before I can actually put on makeup, but that's fine.、Uh, so I was sleeping with a sleeping shield. I don't know if I need it at this point because I'm pretty good about not rolling around and smashing my face into the pillows, but I do need it because Kong Zeros has been known to drop a couple of elbows in his sleep from time to time. I'm not sure if he's trying to reenact any WrestleMania or just.、Uh, Lived in echoey thingies,、uh, lived in、um, aggressions that he needs to unleash when he's not able to unleash it on the、um, arcade. I do have good news our internet is back. Yay! It turns out we had a rogue hub plugged in somewhere into our hardwire. So if you are doubtful, check all your lines to make sure that there's no、uh, plug that's going into something that's not supposed to be going into. You'd wonder if Netgear telling me, like every single time you see a Cisco.、Um, Paid pop up when you're trying to log directly into the router, there should be something that's connected. That's also boo boo on my part because I didn't check all the lines to make sure that there was no rogue hubs sitting around. But yay for us, it's all back up. So, hello, Mr. Encoder. Hello, Goofy Foot. Waiting for waiting is more tiring than I thought. I think I'm going to take a nap. So sorry about that. Well, we're here now、um, and we're still waiting for this other machine to get started. Hello, Ricardo War 4444 Elizondo. Hello, William Wright. <laughs> Be Van Wing. It's funny, he never sleeps in. He usually wakes up first.、Um, and it's really annoying because the first thing he does when he wakes up, he's on his phone, he's on his device, and like just doing all these things. I have no idea what happened this morning. I don't know if,、um, yeah, that bang bang pew pew. Oh my gosh. Maybe we shouldn't have、um, started with that one. Maybe we should have done something else. But hello, Josh Larson, AKA Calivac. Calivac? Yes. Hello, hello, hello. Cut <laughs> better late than never. Very true, Darth Penguin 66.、Uh, yeah, we did need it. It's been a long week. Our kids were at spring break and we did a lot of awesome, fun things instead of staying in, but it was great.、Um, it's awesome. I just hear swearing down here. So it seems like we're not ready just yet. So I'm going to hopefully continue to entertain by reading. No, I caught up to all the chat. Wow, that's a first.、Um, Hoping everyone had a wonderful Sunday morning. If we delayed your plans, we apologize, but you're here now and we're so glad to see you. Thank you so much. He did want to show me a, a game that we sort of looked at recently where, where there's an update, and it's actually an update to the cab, not the cabinet, but like at least to our setup too. This is going to be interesting because we're still in this little tight area. And there's kittens running around everything. And there's cables on the floor as well as sharp scissors. And I'm just watching him like run around dangerously around here in hopes that like we don't step on anything.、Um, but I am so ready to start the stream. Hello, Ernie. Good morning. Well, good, good morning to my mother in law.、Um, I should probably call her. It's going to be Cambodian New Year's soon. But it's the afternoon for us, 1 35 here. It's been a really interesting weather that we've been having. It's stupid hot the past three days. Thankfully, it was spring break, and the kids were able to at least like, enjoy being outside, the glorious outsideness, before it goes back down into a, a terrifying 60 degrees, which is very strange, very strange indeed. But I hear there's weather happening in all funny parts of the world. If you want to drop in the chat, what is your weather like right now at this moment? Are we expecting? Thunderstorms in some areas. I've heard that.、Uh, rain, torrential raining in、uh, Virginia, I think. And then here we just had extreme heat, dry heat weather. Ooh, the beast. Are we still working on getting started? I see nodding. I can show off the guns. So, this lovely, lovely gun is plugged into our、um, big butt counter. So, I guess we're going to be playing with flight guns today. Yay! These are still excellent condition, seeing that they've been like thrown around everywhere. So, oh, I just realized that's so funny. Like, during all the custom work, you can kind of see where、um, they've been like dismantled in certain places too, but still hefty. They still hold up their weight. Very beautiful. 
there's extra long cables everywhere, so be prepared for that if you're trying to get yourselves one of these too. Let's see. You're doing a good job, Mrs. Congress. Keep going. Thanks. It's 85 degrees in Arizona, but I think that's to be expected, right? And it's 66 and sunny in uh, North Carolina. Ooh, 66 and sunny, but no rain, I hope. 55 degrees in Ohio. Is this normal weather for everyone around this time? I don't know. For us, it's been weird. Good afternoon, Kongs and family. Thank you, Ritual. Ritual. 80 degrees in Orlando. Hmm. That sounds about normal. 73 degrees. Beautiful. Oh, Florida weather. What's up, Goofy Foot? Thank you all for being here. Again, apologies for this morning for the delay of our stream. Um, and thank you, Mrs. Kong's dress, for uh, you know doing our intro this morning. Uh, I got up and rolled out of bed and looked there, and I was like, oh, crap, it's late. And she's like, uh, I'm just going to roll back over <laughs> and go back to sleep. So uh, we had a nice a Sunday, fun day morning sleeping in. The kids got to sleep in a little bit more. It's the last day of our spring break. It's been a fun spring break with some family in town. I got to work on a lot of arcade customs and things. And in fact, one of the things I got to do a lot was play some new video games. And so the biggest thing I've been playing a lot of has been my racing rig. I've been doing a lot of work playing Horizon, Forza Horizon 5 a lot. It's been fun. Um, but uh, the thing for today's stream that we're going to talk about is the guys from Molar Art to Digital Art. They just finally released their full version of Bang Bang Pew Pew. And it was a Kickstarter game. It's a modern light game that, you know, not many new light games have come out and been developed. And uh, we did a stream a few months ago where we demoed the alpha version or the beta version or some demo version of it where we got to play a few games but it was just released uh, this weekend on steam so i left the link in the description if you want to check it out i believe it's 25 dollars retail i paid full price for the for the on kickstarter and i think i paid it even a little bit more because i'm going to get the downloadable content but it's on sale now i think for like 18 bucks so for a brand new game that's out. Uh, it's pretty cool. So we're going to start off today's show doing a demo of Bang Bang Pew Pew. Uh, so you guys can see that. Uh, later on, we'll also be doing some gameplay of our House of the Dead games on our shooter cave build that I have here that we're going to showcase some of the guns for our modded guns. And if we have time, I wanted to see if I can get Mrs. Kong's Arrest to play uh, House of the Dead remake on the Switch. So if that's possible, where we can get it downloaded and hooked up at, at, at some point during the stream, I wanted to do some uh, you know comparisons between the emulation version of house of the dead because i have all of them on this shooter kid build um or the uh, new nintendo switch that came out so they just released house of the dead remake on the nintendo switch and do you remember playing house of the dead in the arcades no because it was a scary game <laughs> you don't like zombies and shooting up zombies no you never played it ever no no okay growing up we didn't have any quarters you could use in our arcade i did not waste my quarters on shooting games where you didn't get a prize yeah racing games where you didn't get a prize okay or fighting games where you didn't get a okay. prize <laughs> so she likes to gamble uh play gamble and get prizes is that why you're you're more of a ticket redemption kind of girl yeah yeah i say so shooting games was not your forte but they re-released the original house of the dead on the switch and so we're going to be hopefully demoing that testing it out so hopefully we can get that going and running um how late am i uh we are doing the stream about five hours later than we normally would but let's get into it okay <laughs> they're ending the stream so let's get into talking about um bang bang pew pew so here is my shootercade racing build that you see here i have this uh you know beautiful front end that i have set up i have all these different menus that you can see here between my plastic games my modern shooter games my mounted gun games my uh, all-time light gun games some Big Buck Hunter games, my House of the Dead playlist on here, uh, NES games, PlayStation games, Time Crisis, some Wii games, and then uh, Classic Gun games. So let's go into our modern shooters, and I'm going to pull up Bang Bang Pew Pew. All right, so let's come back over here. So I'm in Classic Game, and so what I'm doing right now is um, I'll show you kind of how I'm navigating the menu. I'm going to share my second screen so you guys can see uh, the Guncade and how I'm navigating it. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. I really enjoy having this um, all-in-one Guncade. It's been cool to, to have a really nice all-in-one Guncade here. So here it is. Let's share this second screen here. You guys can see the gun cave there. There it is, my big buck hunter that I modded with extra buttons. So these are just four extra buttons here that are my navigation. So this is an up and down button. This is a select button. This is a back button. So we're going to go to my modern shooters. And I already added Bang Bang Pew Pew in here. Here's some really fun games here. I don't have video snaps for it yet, 
So that's the clear logo for Bang Bang Pew Pew. We're going to click it. This is actually running into Steam. So it's going to take a while for it to hopefully load up. And then we should see it running in just a second. So there's Molar Art, Digital Art. These are the guys that um, actually put this together. So let's go ahead and set this up where Bang Bang Pew Pew is the main thing. And we're going to get started. So we have two of our light guns. So these, are, again, are our modded Namco Time Crisis guns that are actual real Namco guns that have little things. Let's do two players. That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah, do arcade mode. So this is the full game. This is the full menu interface. So we'll just go through kind of our first thoughts playing this. So protect the runner, score 1,000 points, destroy hidden targets. But you can get into the gameplay super quick. So that's, am I, did you do two players or one player? Two players. Oh, oops. I wonder if we have to take turns on this. So we're yeah. trying to try to play this. Why am I shooting the player? Uh, I think you're supposed to protect the, you're supposed to destroy targets that are shooting at them. Oh. Yeah, so. Maybe do we take turns? Is that how this so. one works? All right, keep going again. Let me let me turn off something so we can see Mrs. Kong zero is going. All right, so this is a different one. I only see one player going, so you gotta shoot. Which one are you shooting? The red ones. The red ones? Yeah. Am I not supposed to shoot the red ones? I don't know. I didn't see the instructions, so. I'm not paying attention to anything. Oh, is it freezing? Oh, it's kind of slow. All right, there it is. Sorry, the gameplay was freezing a little bit, but yeah, let's let's really check it out. Uh, does your build integrate nicely with aim track? Uh, I would say yeah, um, but um, right now I'm just using the gun for IRs, which uh, uses the four uh, sensors, so it's it's pretty it's pretty um it's pretty accurate. I really like it. So aim tracks is just essentially all these gun builds use a mouse for emulation. And so as long as you can get any of your guns to register as a mouse, it can integrate well. So uh, yeah, shoot it. Boom, shoot the middle one. And you have to shoot it off the edge. Yeah. That's the platform. Yeah, that's the platform. So it's almost like, you know, that. Uh... So, so Pink Bang Bang Pew Pew is essentially a ton of these mini games that are kind of oh yeah, you have to do individual shots. That are, it's a modern version of Point Blank, is what I've really called it. So shoot one side, it's a domino. Shoot the left side or the right side. Shoot one of them. Oh no, you shot the wrong one. Shoot that one. Yeah, dominoes. Yeah, but I don't I don't see how we got the two player mode going because I have two guns. I wonder if we need to do something to enable two gun shooting. So here's Mrs. Kong Zero's playing on this side. So you guys can see how we're shooting. Oh, oh you have your shoot the top, shoot the top. Kind of knocks it over a little bit. It's almost like Eddie Birds. So then you pull your thing. Do I have one too? Okay. So maybe you're oh. supposed to help me. Well, I don't see like a second. Oh, I am. Who am I shooting? Are we shooting the bad guys? I don't know. I wonder if our mouses are like jumping and competing with each other instead of it being like a true two player setup. I wonder if there's something that we need to do to have two guns shooting. Can you shoot the side? Like, are we shooting at the same time? Are we competing with each other? I have no idea. But like sometimes it like registers and sometimes it doesn't. I think we're like competing with each other. Maybe not this way. I can go or you can go. Go. Yeah, and I have the sound turned off right now, but um yeah. Pretty, pretty interesting. So next player, oh, next up player two. So maybe it's one, it's one and then the other. So next up player two. So they're not at the same time, it looks like. I guess you have to do things. Shoot, score 1,000 points, score 900 points in 65 shots. Hit 40 shots without missing. This is accuracy. So if I'm player two, then this is where it goes. Okay. Score. Uh yes, yeah, so I had to play a bunch of games and then it was your Protect the runner. Oh, okay. So we're just literally taking turns. I don't know how she, how do I get her to jump? 
Am I shooting her? Okay, that sucks. All right, fail to protect the runner. Destroy three hidden targets. So it's the same same rounds then. Avoid oh, like gas cans. I was shooting the gas cans. Blast. Oh, avoid the gas cans. So you should have to shoot the, the blue targets. targets. Whoops. All right, so this looks like it was individual play, not um, not co-op at the same time. That's interesting. I would have liked to see some of the games where you could actually have two guns going at the same time. But yeah, I totally sucked at that pendulum play. So this is player two side. So this is pretty much the same five and games, and then you just compete it. So you kind of take turns. So it's a turn base instead of at the same time. Oh, I love the sound of these guns. They feel so good. Oh, go, go, go. And we're playing in arcade mode, so they have a ton of other different um, different modes, too. Ah, why is it rolling off? Roll, 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 roll off. Ah, all right. Where am I? Dominoes. Oh, I messed it up. I should have just let it keep going. Oh, I totally messed it up. I was like, dominoes, dominoes, dominoes. Yeah, that's a fun stage. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Clear points in the platforms. Clear the platform. So I shoot. Yeah, shoot the bad guys, not the girl. <laughs> we didn't know what we were doing. I was right. shooting the Shooting bad the bad guys? guys? Yeah. That was my fault, huh? Well, also, you had your gun pointed at my screen, too. That's true. I was messing you up. I was totally messing you up. And now that we know, we can try different modes. Two, three, four, five. There's no, like, shoot off screen to reload, I think. Nope. It just reloads for you. It just you. reloads for you, yeah. But you still see, like, all the ammo you have. So it's kind of curious why they make it go away. Or, like, are you... I wonder if that's all you have, and then once you use up all the bullets, then like it goes yeah. slow. Yeah. Or if there's a way to actually like reload off screen or something. Yeah. So if you shoot, like shoot, get rid of all your bullets first, and then do you see it come back? You're gonna have to wait for it to reload on its own. Yeah. Ah, reload, reload. Well, that's yeah, why sometimes it didn't register for me it's because I ran out of bullets. Yeah, score a thousand points. Oh, and you have like little little missions to complete too. All right, look at that. I'm on a leaderboard, so Titch Gamer. I beat Titch Gamer. Look at that. Interesting. Okay, so that was kind of fun, just playing the game, just testing it out a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna go through. Is there another game to play? I think that was it. Player two wins. Earn three more stars to unlock juggling. So go back. All right. So that was interesting. So player two counts. So you can select the challenge. There's a random challenge. You can actually change the number of players. And you put, like it's up to four players wow. that you can play, but it's just kind of taking turns. I wonder if you can use the same game. Oh, it says remote play together. I wonder, this, I wonder what that means. What is remote play together? Oh, so you can like hook up with folks on Steam and actually play together if somebody else got this. So that's kind of cool. Interesting. All right. I don't know how to exit out of this. Um, I have to get on my keyboard and hit shift tab. There's a thing that says, uh, force quit. What's that? Yeah, but I'm having issues with this. Okay. okay. All right. So let's go back and see what other menu options. Can you go back on your screen? I'll check the chat really fast. Okay. All right. So there's single player or something called hot seat. Use, that was what we were just doing. Yeah. So go back to single player. Let's see what mode. So select challenge, arcade mode. Or Nerd things. Oh, so, oh, so there's a bunch of games. Ah, okay. So there's four different categories: the scenario, speed, judgment, and accuracy. Are there's three games in each category? Or uh, how many? Looks, well, a couple. One, a couple. I think it was four. Ooh, curling. Curling's not even unlocked yet. What the heck? Do we have to play through the game? There's speed. Speed. Oh. Judgment. Okay. Accuracy. Uh, okay, so you have to keep playing and unlock 
Blast the swinging plates, avoid gas cans. All right. So maybe you had to like literally play through the game to unlock more stages and things. Because when I was playing the demo, they definitely had curling as one of them. Okay. So we've only been playing through these four stages. Do you want to just pick a stage, or do you oh. want to just go through it single player? Let's see how you. What are you? Oh yeah, I'm you're looking at little game like how they actually. Play yeah. How does the girl jump? I don't understand. Is she shooting something? Because there are enemies that come at you, but I don't understand how to make her jump the platform. Yeah. Maybe that's something kind of weird. Oh, press number two to jump. Press button two to jump. Ah, oh, okay. So that's a problem with our guns right now because these are single button guns. I'd have to get my um my pedal out to be able to to uh... use that. So this is one of those games where if you have a second button, maybe a, a right click, that's what you'd have to do to oh, get the person you to jump. To press two to reload. Oh, we need a lot of. Oh, press two to reload. Oh, so we do need a button number two to reload. They all say reload. Apparently. Ah, so we need a two button setup. That's the problem that we might not have a two button setup right now because all of our uh, these guns specifically only have a single press right now. Random challenge. So okay, random challenge. And maybe I can bust out my um my pedals and see if they register We're not as button number two. The We're like, what? Yeah. All right. So Mrs. Kong the rest is gonna keep playing. We're gonna keep going. All right, the gun clicks is almost making a la cucaracha song. <laughs> you had to lower the volume because your GI is uh, is freaking out. Oh, uh, sorry about that. You saw an OSU a gun game, but haven't played it. Bobby Broadway says rhythm games OSU been exploring for the past month. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, this is Bang Bang Pew Pew. So this is Bang Bang Pew Pew. It's a new light gun shooter that was made by Molo Art Digital Art. We backed it on Kickstarter. It was just released this past weekend. So we're doing some gameplay to check it out. Yeah. All right. Might be able to check it out. So, just a single download, no op system to go to try it. Yeah. Get a jolt. Uh, I had a jolt and I replaced them with these because I, I really like the feel of the original Time Crisis guns. I have pedals too, so I, I, need, I have a second player, but for home emulation, it definitely is, is better to have a, a gun that has more options and things. Maybe there's an auto reload feature. Maybe I'm going to bust out my, my pedals really fast and see if they work. How's it fun? What's your first impression or second impression since you're playing through this version this time? I don't know if it was just us being tired, but we're not reading any of the rules. <laughs> or maybe that bar in the bottom <laughs> doesn't help the fact. What's that? You don't buy too fast. The bar is probably the thing that's like making us like, oh, skip, just start playing. Yeah, I would say like if there's a way to get the instructions, if there was some feedback I'd have, to make the instructions like really bigger and clearer for each of the games, because every mini game, you need to have instructions on how to play, right? Yeah, it's not like the Wario yeah. games, you just go in and start Yeah, playing. if 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 there's some constructive feedback, kind of my first com constructive feedback or complaint is like, Get the instructions for each mini game super big on the screen where you can kind of really see it because I think the I text is a little bit smaller. Juice, that's why. Ah, she doesn't have her brain juice. Let's see if this actually works as as number two. If I had to map it, I didn't see any options to like map a button to either. I know this is just like mostly mouse click, but go ahead and do oh, a retry. Actually, oh, that one had unlimited ammo. Yeah, clear the platform, knock everything off, score like like this text right here. I think it's okay, but you know, it's almost like it needs to, the font needs to be like in your face, like super huge across the entire screen so you can see what the objectives are, or at least the main objective. And then the sub objectives can be like bullet appointed. Something about it needs to stand out more because we miss, we miss reading through some of the rules for some of the games. Step on it, just step on it. Well, this is unlimited ammo. Yeah. So we'd have to go through a game where like there's a reload feature. Is what you wanted to do, right? That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Sorry, it's a little bit laggy on the the um on the stream too. Brad D, what's up, man? He says, does does PPU support two players simultaneous? Or is it single, no, player? single player? Yeah, two players one at a time. It looks like it's two players one at a time for right now for the get the mini games that we've played. But I know that the curling game. I thought it was like two players at the same time. So that's a good question. I don't know if it's going to be two players simultaneously. So this is one where you try the jumping one to see if you have if you press the button, it should jump. So I just uh, loaded up a pedal for Mrs. Kong's arrest to see if the pedal, I think I have this registered to a, a, um, a map. I have that registered to, it's not, it's not working. No, she jumped. 
No, she's not jumping on her own. I have to like map that button because right now my pedals are mapped to a keyboard. So it's like button R instead of like right click or something. So yeah, can you go back to the main menu? Can we see if there's any button mappings? Go back. See, yeah, go back. Options. Go to, so the options here are the resolution, medium quality, color blind mode, music challenge on. So there's no button to medium quality. mapping. I don't know how to map a second button. So I, I think it's just right click. You're about to tempt PS3 sharpshooter on the PC. That's cool. This game looks like Angry Birds. Yeah, it definitely is. I love the physics in the game. Def yeah, the physics are actually pretty good. I do like that. What's up, Wolf of Notes? Appreciate you being here. What's going on? Most badass pedals you can get. Love these repurposed arcade pedals. Oh, they definitely see, look uh, good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game plays like gumshoe. Gotta gotta shoot the player to to jump. Uh, there's like a button press where you have to press like the mouse button to to get them to jump, but it's not it's not there though. May have to change the pedal input in the GUI. Um, yeah, right now I have it registered and um, it's registering as just like a um, automatic keyboard setting to button R or something. Maybe the jumpy one. Huh? Yeah. So I either need to get an upgraded gun. That's the problem with these though. Like with having only one button, it's limited. And with most emulators, you can map out a second button to whatever. But right now, I believe hit the right click button as button two. Let me see if right click works. <laughs> Might have to ask the guy to see if there's a way to like custom map button two to something else. Because you'll have people like me that just have like single button gun. Got distracted and didn't realize I didn't get to call the slacker out for streaming late. <laughs> It is super late. This is no longer a Sunday morning fun day stream. This is a afternoon makeup stream showing off bang, bang, pew, pew, mystery encoder. But thanks for hanging out. So this is our kind of second impression playing the game, seeing this. Uh, Mrs. Kong's Arrest is playing through a couple of the first games that we've been able to get through. So I think there's only four mini games that we, we can play. And then we have to unlock the rest of them. So for better or worse, you know, custom targets, score 1,000 points, 900. I'm like number nine on the leaderboards. That's kind of nice that there's a global leaderboard. I just can't remap the load yeah, button. So I got to I gotta map the second button. Uh, Joy to key are one of those X input things, remap to inputs. I yeah. Mm, the encoder inside is lit up. That's why. Yeah, so that's the, the inside of the pedal has a blue glow to it. So that's the encoder inside of it. it does help that we have bright light washing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, these are heavy duty time crisis pedals as well. There are some some aftermarket pedals that are getting released pretty soon, but nothing that beats the quality of these pedals. So even though these are nice arcade quality guns and things, the fact that it's hard to remap the buttons and to a button too is a little disappointing that I didn't see anything in the in the GUI. Are or you supposed to phone a friend? Phone a friend? <laughs> Glenn, are you here? Uh no. I I I think we're just gonna have to you know, survive and keep going. I wonder if we can unlock everything. You want to keep drawing? Do you want to do another two-player shootout now that you know? Uh, sure. Even though we can't, um, yeah, like a sunburn, and suddenly I felt like it was this is our Peg Electronics' guns for sure. Yeah, this is this is his uh, pink Namco Time Crisis yeah, gun. Yeah, I noticed that. Like he actually like did a couple of work prying it open, so you kind of see it. Like yeah, I mean, this is a used gun used. that he actually repainted and sandblasted, so it's a refurbished. But the the blue gun is immaculate. He didn't even paint that one. The quality of this gun for an old Namco Time Crisis gun and the quality it in, there's like no damage to this at all. This is like a super clean, very rare gun to have in this condition. Pretty lucky. So thanks, Arpeg Electronics. Change the input in the gun for eye GUI, uh, pedal input in the gun for eye GUI. Oh, okay. Wonder if we can. Um, shouldn't we have to go back to. I didn't know if we can do that. Okay. We need a wireless singer buttons. Maybe use the powerless power like new modern LEDs. Okay, I can definitely try checking out the GUI to see if we can remap it to player to button number two. I just quitted it. You just quitted the game? Yeah. Ah. Okay. So this is back to our our shooter playlist. So I mean, yeah, I'll probably play a little bit more of Bang Bang Pew Pew. But final thoughts and impressions. Any kind of lasting impressions on the game? Was it fun? 
for what it was. It was fun once you read the instructions. <laughs> so the instructions seem to be definitely bigger and not yeah. smooshed together, maybe like a bullet. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the, the game list is pretty decent, but uh, we got to spend some time unlocking it. So maybe I'll do a full review of it later on. Just wanted to do some live first impressions and just get some thoughts out there. Check out the game if you can. It's on sale. I, I'm having fun. It's pretty easy to set up. Works best with a gun that has two button setup because a lot of the games, it looks like you have to press button two to reload. And right now our setup isn't set up that way. So unfortunately not. But we can go to the second half of our stream. You want to shoot some zombies? Okay. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> She's like, no. So House of the Dead. So I have uh, on here a House of the Dead playlist. So this is all the House of the Dead games that... I was able to put on this build and thank you to to Raymond for helping get this set up. So here's House of the Dead 4. This is House of the Dead Overkill. The typing of the dead overkill. So you can actually use your gun to, to do this. You don't have to type. Uh, the regular original House of the Dead. House of the Dead 2. Uh, this is a different version of House of the Dead 2. Uh, House of the Dead 2 and 3. House of the Dead three and four. Let's uh, let's go back to playing the original House of the Dead one, which I believe is a Sega model two game. We can check this out. So that uh, I think you shoot off screen for this to reload. Okay. So it should be good. So I'm gonna hit my button. Sorry, I'm pressing all these buttons. So press the blue button. Okay. So this is gonna load up, and then these uh, buttons here are my coins, and then we can be doing player one and player two. I wonder if I unmute it, you guys will be able to hear. They chose to mute themselves. OK, so I can't unmute the side so you guys can see the games. All right, so let's try it out. Player one, player two. Let's shoot some zombies. Ready? All right. Hold your fire. All right, so you're the little red cursor. I'm the blue cursor. Yeah, okay. which is funny because. Shoot. Oh. Yeah, you shoot off screen to reload on this one. Others are still inside. Save them. Yeah, so this is Sega Model 2. I mean, uh, your, oh, your dude died. Oh, such a good game. So this Pretty fun. Ah. It's so weird. Their zombie dogs have wings. I know. Is she a zombie or is she? Broken. It's you, Sophie. Ah. I wonder if we can turn on the sound a little bit. Do you guys want to see the game sound? I'd have to like figure it out. It might be echoey if I turn on the game sound. Yeah, it was echoey when you. Oh, when I turned on the sound. Yeah. Ah, don't throw over. Ah, dang it. You suck. Yeah, accuracy of these guns are really good. This is gun for eye attack. And so uh, she has a wide angle lens, so she can be a little bit closer. For me, I have to be a little bit further back and for it to register and work. Yeah, so who needs House of the Dead remake when you have the original version of the game that can run pretty well? It doesn't take a lot to run this game either. It's Model 2 emulation. So it's working pretty well. I, you gotta the screen to be loaded. Boom. Whoop. Don't shoot the dude. Take out the zombie. Hold your fire. You can go up the stairs from that room. You don't remember playing this game at all? No, like never? You never, never played this game? No. Why would I waste my coins on? Because you're Run. shooting zombies. Look how fun it is shooting zombies. This doesn't even make sense at all. Zombies don't throw hatchets at people. Oh, killer zombies do. The science behind zombies don't make sense. Oh, yes. Chainsaw, zombie with a chainsaw. 
Yeah, get out of there. Save the dude. Got an extra life. Life up. These Model 2 graphics are so good. So many different versions of Dombeef. Man, some of these games are like total jump scare. She got pretty far on like one credit. She that was her first credit. She just reloaded. Reload. Reload. It does get heavy on with these things. Yeah, these uh. You getting tired? Yeah, I'm so tired. Yeah. Shoot uh, sideways. <laughs> oh, I died. Second, second coin. Let's go. All right, we'll play through one life and we'll take a break. And, like, do these matter where you shoot them? Or uh, I think you do headshots. Like, they actually um, uh, they'll die faster if you do headshots. Shoot their brains out. I actually don't even know if there is um, better better shooting targets. I just assume. I think if you shoot their body, you have to shoot them several times. Bad voice, hold your fire. Sophie, are you okay? I was so scared. You're supposed to be Sophie. Uh oh. Oh, there you go. Oh, whoops. Weak point. His chest? His chest. That little oh, opening. Uh, Come back in. Let's get out of box. Oh, I suck. Back in. We're not shooting his hot. Shoot his hot. Oh. oh, my zombie. Got him. Got him. Oh, you're done. You're done. You're done. How was that? Yo. You think <laughs> we're awake now? We are definitely awake. All right. So we're missing. Arm workout. It was an arm workout for sure. He died. Yeah. You're gonna get a squeezer with those green flashes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, you haven't done that. That's how retroarch was added. That's because how we patched it load. Oh, so you're talking to Mr. Encoder. Yes. Oh, I just wonder where the second camera was. It's right here. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second camera. Just checking chat. All right, B, you think Mrs. Kongzeros might have some bodies on her record? She's a little too comfortable with that gun. I don't know. Was it fun? Fun fun shooting along? Oh, we just, we just right. got the recoil on the time crisis guns are music to your ears. Yeah, they feel super good. Like I know it is tiring because you know you are holding this up. I don't actually. I think Ray said he added weights into these. They're actually heavier than I thought they would be. I think. I, I like think you should take out the weights. Trying to kill me, but it leaves you alone. I know. Like, yeah. Right. So we're, we're just reading through chat right now. We're not playing through. Yeah, recoil clacking is crazy. That's what you want on your eventual sentence to be to be no recoil. Oh, it's too crazy for you. You think the recoil is too much. Are you just like looking into the camera? I, just, I like the recoil. It's the feedback. Yeah, it's just nostalgic having that clacking. Like I remember going to the arcade and you'd be playing these games like Time Crisis and I'd be so disappointed if I picked up a gun and it didn't have like the clacking. Like you would play one of these guns, but then it would be broken and not have the clicking feature. I'd like put in another quarter just to play the version of the gun that had the clacking feature. So this was just a very nostalgic feel for me to have these as a home arcade uh, emulation. It's just so, super awesome. Even though you weren't kidding, I, all right, you guys are talking to Mr. Encoder about stuff. I need to get Mr. Encoder on back to Zen. B, can't you put this game on 2T for us? <laughs> That's what you need to be doing over Think Gaming. I heard that you've uh, gotten recruited into Team Encoder. But yeah, that would be fun to get the clacking going on. OTG is relying on you to do that. Exactly. They're exactly. Darn, you missed the first part. Yeah, uh, definitely we'll go back and, and play Bang Bang Pew Pew a little bit more. Uh, these aren't <laughs> Chinatown guns. They sound good. These are legit, man. These super feel really awesome. They're really 
hardcore arcade guns. And so the pedals are really fun too. All right. It says you can turn off the screen flash with the same software used to get the crosshairs. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of options in here. So that's pretty cool. All right. So Mr. Encoder, what do you mean? Do, do you work for arcade? What up? Mr. Encoder, anytime he joins these streams, there's a, there's a lot of folks in chatter that want Mr. Encoder to do the good work for them. Recoil is awesome, especially the moving one. I use the jolt guns. Yeah, jolts are super awesome, by the way. I, I had a jolt and then I sold it because I, I needed to make room for these. So I'm, Ryan, in hindsight, maybe I should have kept the jolt because it actually, my original plan was to have one blue jolt gun and this one pink gun. So I'd be like, I have one jolt that I can use single player, a blue version. And then I have this pink gun that I can have as a second player and be like, oh, I have one jolt and one Namco. And then I thought about it for a long time. And then when I saw Raymond from RPEG Electronics have this blue version of the gun, I was like, oh, it just, it would be so cool to have actually matching guns. And so that's what I went for to have the actual matching time crisis guns instead of having one jolt. But the jolts would have had more options in it for sure to just have this as a second player, but uh, you know, Hindsight 2020, whatever. I think I like the Namcos, even though it's limited for the games. All right, Mr. Encoder. Kong Zero does, it does work with the Box 86, apparently. So maybe it will end up on a stock big buck, House of the Dead. Oh, interesting. If we can get House of the Dead working on that stuff, Mr. Encoder is putting in the work. For sure, for sure. Plus the Joe, which gun are you using? Also, don't shoot the cat. <laughs> yeah, these are uh, modded Time Crisis, I believe, three guns, two or two or three guns that have um, gun for IR cameras, and I have sensors. So I'm using gun for IRs. The jolts have the extra buttons. Agree. Yeah, so the jolts are definitely a little bit more user friendly. You want to try one more Time Crisis or House of the Dead game? Okay. And we'll call it quits. Yeah. There's a typing right. one. <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a typing of the dead, but I think we changed it where you can just shoot instead of type. And um, yeah, I'm probably not going to have time to, to download the other version on the Switch, but maybe I'll do a future video where I compare playing House of the Dead on this Model 2 emulator versus playing it on the Switch. So I wanted to do some comparisons if we can do it. But there's Tabby. Let's do one more House of the Dead game. So to exit a game, I believe, I think I just hold the player. I forget how to exit a game. I think I pressed both buttons at the same time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I forgot what I did to exit a game. All right, so let's go to, want to do House of the Dead 2 or Typing of the Dead? Could do. Or House of the Dead 4. And perhaps then I go into the House of the Dead Overkill. The Typing of the Dead. Tear. That, 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 that. Moan. <laughs> It'd be better if you had a keyboard, right? Yeah, yeah. What do you want to do? House of the Dead 2? Sure. All right. We'll go in order. We'll go to House of the Dead 2. I don't know the difference between the two versions that I have on here. So I'm just going to press play and hope that it works. All right, press start. Oh, I think this is running PS2 emulator. OK, there we go. So this is House of the Dead 2. Ready? Ready, ready? Hold your fire. I'm assuming there's just a lot of talking. Lots of talking. Oh, what up? Oh, yeah, this one, you can shoot their heads. Yeah. Ooh, and Ooh. they become like acid. So I think this is, I, I want to say PS2. House of the Dead 2. Running pretty well, two players. Uh Axe guys. I gotta sit back for you. You're okay. It wasn't registering for me. So I gotta go a little bit further back because my sensors aren't registering. Also my cat so in this a room. Is, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Take that. Oh no. I don't wanna die. Oh, save the girl. Woo. Go that way. All right. Ah, ah. Oh, dang it. We didn't save the dude. Killer frogs. Killer frogs. 
Get back, X, dude. Hold your fire. Oh, uh, can a worm? Double chainsaw guy. Put him down. Yeah. Ooh, oh, don't shoot the kid. Oh, there's a little kid in here. It's kind of sad. Oh, these guys are tough. They're like climbing on the wall. Acrobatic zombies. He's on a second head armor, too. I know. Oh. Yeah. oh, you can shoot off their heads. That's pretty awesome. Come on, save the deep. Save the deep. Yeah. Oh. oh, we saved them. We saved her. Yeah. Did you save a life? <laughs> nice. We got a life up. Is this the bad guy? More talking. More talking. Zombies can talk, apparently. Oh, I'll have to like figure out a way to use um our mics plus the audio. So this is the bad dude here. Let's see where his weak point is. Uh, weak point is the oh we gotta shoot the dude, the flying person. We gotta shoot the flying person. Yeah, take that flying dude. Yeah. Oh, he's flying too fast. Dang it. All right. Reload. Come on, dude. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, we did it. All right. Took out the first stage bosses on House of the Dead 1 and 2. What do you like better, House of the Dead 1 or 2 so far? I guess two. Kind of plays better, that, right? Like, yeah. Now you don't get to shoot the head off. And you're like, yeah. oh, you shoot the head. I think mechanics are slightly better in two. So we can keep going. Want to keep going? Um. Do three? Or you want to? Let's see what the chat says. Yes. What do you guys want to do? You want to check? You can read the chat. I can read the chat. You can see my arm now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, freeze is for me. So I got a little TV window that I want to duck with. Oh, is the game? Is it just me or does the game play, game play camera keeps freezing up randomly? It was freezing up randomly. Yeah, I have a streaming right now using a, a capture card, but maybe okay. maybe our internet's boo boo. Thank you, Eric three ten. <laughs> you wife, you guys are a couple of goals. My you just gotta find something that's a happy medium. For me, it just happens to be alcohol. <laughs> as long as I can uh, make sure she has her brain juice. Hand it brain over. Brain juice. You need more brain juice. I need more brain juice. I really hope it's not our internet that's freezing, but it could just be like the, um, the capture card. Yeah. Yeah, on the PC. Mm -hmm. Adam family. Mm -hmm. Would you like us to see, or would you like to see us play House of the Dead 3? Let's see. The guns have nothing to do with it. I'm just trying to catch up. Strobe effects. Ugh. So I guess it is strobing for a lot of people. Much better without the strobe, um, without the strobe effects. Mm. So the arcade is it actually flashing? like flash. A little bit, I think so. I think there's flashing that happens in the arcade too, for sure. Clacking is music to our ears. Yeah. That was four minutes ago. Clickety clack, clack, clack. Cackety cacks, cack, cack, cats. I always remove crosshairs, which my kids hate. Imagine that having to aim. Yeah. Oh, the little like yeah, box the little thingy. Box. I mean, it kind of helps. Once you kind of figure out where you are, you can adjust it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks like this is the Dreamcast version. There's like a little thing on the screen that says Dreamcast. It's a little past the Dead 3 while people are checking it out. Oh, look, we had another one. Super. Mystery Encoder says, you agree with Eric, but if my wife had the wine, beer, she'd also <laughs> truly be playing. <laughs> yep. So we need to buy you a drink sometime, Mystery Encoder, for all the good work you've done. Thank you for the $5 super chat. We appreciate See, that. Eric, when she just wants to buy purses, that's when you buy purses with like the video game characters on there. And they'd be mm -hmm. like, look. 
I think uh, people want to see a Mrs. Kong's Arrest uh, tribute video. You should pick one. Tribute video? Yeah. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not even paying attention to things. This thing. Go to brand and then scroll down. Uh, I don't know which any the I have. Well, that one, this side looks more real. Oh, I know, but they're saying that it's mostly like just this area. But now I have two different like colors. I'm, I'm not gonna brownie over your face. <laughs> yeah, the, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like you just ate some like dog poo and you got it all over. <laughs> I'm just like. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of dog poo, I gotta clean up the bathroom today. I know. We gotta have some more Miss uh, Mrs. Kong's Arrest and B moments that we can share on stream sometime. But that's House of the Dead 2. That's two and three. This is House of the Dead 3. Why don't we do one last House of the Dead 3 gameplay and then we'll call it quits, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, so this is our final game that we're gonna play for today. Just testing out some House of the Dead to celebrate, you know, the House of the Dead remake oh, wait, that was just made it. available. Are you stirring the soup? Relax your gym and because potato soup. The guns are heavy. The guns are heavy. I don't think they can see what you're doing right now. And that's okay. They don't see what I'm doing. What's she doing? This is what she's doing right now. She's uh Get working right out her right. arm. She's working her arm out. There you are. Okay. All right. Final gun. Final gun game. See if this works out. It should be pretty easy. I believe this is just the PC version of House of the Dead 3. So let's throw in some coins. Sega. Sega. All right. So this game basically said this was 2019. Survival mode. Do it. Shoot it. Ooh, was that a face and a cursor? Okay. House of the Dead three. Oh, after 20 years after the tragedy. Was I making random text? No wonder my thighs are getting hot. I still had the... Your phone on? My phone on. All right, here we go. I also did that three. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing something. Oh, we have shotguns now. Yeah, they upgraded us to shotguns. And it yeah. still doesn't kill the zombies right away. It actually shows like packing the guns as they're yeah. reloading. So graphically uh, upgraded each time. Pretty good. The dudes also got upgraded. I know. I'm Definitely. just walking around with a jacket. You've got a bulletproof vest on. <laughs> I think we need to trade this. Okay. And these zombies keep going. Gotta shoot them in the head for sure. And these zombies have oh, eyes. I know. That's pretty cool. Or daggers. You can't let everyone's death be in vain. Hurry. They're climbing. Is your oh my god, it still goes. Is your gun vibrating every time you reload? Uh yeah, so your your gun has a built-in vibrating motor. So when you shoot off screen, it rumbles when you reload. Mine does not have a rumble motor in it. So it's just like an option that you can add into the gun for our attack. So yours has a wide lens. So you can be closer to the screen, and it has a rumble motor for when you shoot off screen. You know, I should remember these things. You know, I didn't read them script before. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think it actually reminds me. If we go back and play Gundam Gunbang QQ, I believe if you shoot off screen, it registers as the second button. So when you're playing that game, maybe when you shoot off screen, the lady will jump. Uh, okay. So we can try that again later. I don't want to go on the field, so. Yeah. Because I, I remember, like, the reason why your thing rumbles is because when you shoot off screen, it's registering a second button click. So I think that's how, how Raymond set it up. So we should definitely check that out. Skip with the start button. We're going to skip with the start button. Go. Oh, we didn't see who it was. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it I just want to shoot stuff. Well, now we have a movie. Several years ago in the mansion. Does anybody actually know the story of the House of the Dead? I have like no idea what the story mode is. I just like shooting zombies. Let's just shoot. Chapter one, chasing shadows. We're still chasing shadows. Two, Two weeks, weeks later. Down. My goodness, there's so many things. We have to sh select the route. Oh, oh I'm a different we're new character. People. We're new people. You're a woman now. Yeah. Oh, I guess like two people were stuck with the, um, 
zombie. So there's an actual story that is interesting. Ah, I got sliced. And it's like, yeah, the zombie doesn't die even after he's taken off his head. Oh, oh. fat zombies. Fat zombies. Back up. You can't just take off his head. You have to take off the whole body. Oh, morphin. It's funny that all these zombies, even though they have different builds, you'll see multiples with the same one. So it's like, man, they just like copied each other. They're not like unique people. Yeah. Oh, no. I can't fire. How come I cannot fire? Zombie birds? Zombie ducks. Zombie ducks. Oh my goodness, we're playing duck hunt. Zombie duck hunt. Nice. Can I shoot anything else? Bucket. Bucket. Hold your fire. Something's coming up. What? Zombie Alec, what? Oh my goodness. Ew, he Zombie has cop. Head. Zombie cop, and he has a button. You gotta be kidding. Wow. Type of death. Weak point. Shoot his head. All right, so let's kill this dude. First. Oh, he's running too. And he has a big old cover. It's like he has a, a I like how he can away, but then you can't tell if he killed the zombie or not. So like, then they're just coming after us. And then look at this. This guy has no head. It's not realistic at all. Yeah. Knock you down a little bit. Knocking down. Ah, uh, I died. Reload. Where'd the zombie cop go? Zombie cop. You never finished him. All right, we're just passing through. Hey guys, look at the seal. He's still there. Zombie cop. Ah. 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 Oh, we could play a game where you can hold it down later. Is that fun? Ah. 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 Okay, we got him. Skip with the Spartan. G there. Boom. We made it out. Uh, there's a guy with the one track mind. Ba -ba -ba -bum. All right, we wow. made it through the first stage. Woohoo. Good job, Mrs. Kong's arrest. Yay. Hopefully, that was fun. Yay. You want to go back to the Bang Bang Pew Pew? Uh, yeah, DJ Voodoo. What's this? Uh, would suggest it's the PZ, P, uh, PC version. Moat says, Mr. Encoder, I need to debunk the rumors that I have indeed the next leak. OTG won't let me sleep at night. What's up, up Moat? Good to see you, fellas. If you want to get your significant other involved in gaming, get a slot machine in the game room and have some wine nearby. Is that true? Should I buy you a slot machine? No, you or just a wine. slot machine from I did. I you, did. I mean, you should return it. I never did anything with my slot machine. Maybe get our buzz off of the Moses and have her pick up a light gun. <laughs> That's true. Too bad you couldn't get use the Buck Hunter shotguns for this one. That'd have been mm. fun. I think Mystery Encoder, that'd be fun to play a shotgun version of this. Yeah, because they were sure. holding shotguns, so it made sense. Life, alcohol, live stream, bad idea in your house. <laughs> Mrs. Kong's arrest used to. You know, go through whole bottles of stuff, but she's been being pretty tame. She doesn't play with you either. You mentioned bribing her with alcohol. She said that would work. Yes, yes. But do you? All right. So Vessel says, uh, well, my wife would not drink ever. She would not play games. All things being done need to be real for, for our purpose. Shooting zombies, you never know when you'll need to do that. Yeah. Fat ones are disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you know, time's for a new wife. Aim for the nuts. <laughs> Were you doing that at all? Were you shooting anybody in the nuts? No. Oh, wait, the thingies are coming after us. Uh, she's like. a good god. Uh, you just have to play games alone. You used to have a daughter at home. Oh, grown up and gone. Oh, oh but you still have yeah. your guns. Yeah. Still have your games. Still have your things. 
you get that watching her tab. Your wife is on the gaming computer using her extended family taxi. She's humming happily. <laughs> oh, fun. All right, that's psycho. Eric says, you have a three-year-old daughter that you want to shoot some zombies with someday. Aw, that'd be fun. I don't know if our daughter would do that. I think These she'd want to shoot zombies. quite heavy for her. Yeah, that'd I'm be right. Not realistic at all. Daughter 16, she helps me test all the games. We're creating great memories. That's, that's awesome. awesome. Very that's cool, really Midnight awesome. Ops. Very cool. Vessel says, awesome, Eric. Enjoy the time while they're young. It's sad when they leave you. Oh, don't say that. Don't ever leave me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Mrs. Kong is already thinking about that. That is awesome. All right, are you offering modding kits for Buck Hunter like Star Wars Cab? Uh, unfortunately no. not. Yeah, I don't really do much of the modding on the, uh, like this is a full on PC mod with these these guns. And so this is not my specialty or my forte. I would highly recommend hitting up RPEG Electronics, Raymond. He's the one that offers these as well as like some support for, uh, you know, letting you know which games to get set up. Also Retro Lizard, Joel Gorski does a lot of gun building stuff too. So definitely check out either Retro Lizard um, or Joel Gorski. Sorry, Retro Lizard and Gorgos are the same guys, or Raymond and RPEG Electronics if you guys want to get any mods going on. So we did House of the Dead 1, 2, and 3. Uh, we've been going for an hour. Hopefully you guys have had fun watching this. I think we can do, I kind of want to show our House of the Dead 4 since we've kind of already went through three of them. Let's just, uh, let's finish up with that one. And I know there was another recent House of the Dead that I haven't put on here yet, but let's get House of the Dead 4 on here and you can just see like the upgrade of the gameplay from one through four. I think that's kind of cool that we did some demos of everything. So let's do uh, House of the Dead 4. Let's get it up and running, test it out, and then we'll call it a day. So this is running through Techno Parrot. It's getting ready to go. And uh, thank you all for hanging out and watching. Appreciate everybody that was here. Again, apologies if you tried to watch our earlier morning stream and did not see it. Uh, unfortunately, I overslept and um, life happens, right? But here we are playing some gun games. Got to test out Bang Bang Pew Pew. Going to test out House of the Dead 4. Then we'll go back to Bang Bang Pew Pew and then we'll end the stream. But otherwise, if you guys have anything else this afternoon that you're not doing, definitely check out Console Kits around 4 p.m. Pacific. It's happening about an hour and a half. Fox should be live a little bit earlier on. I saw a lot of people playing games. Moat Plays was checking it, doing some stuff earlier with Travis MCP, Welcome to Die, that were playing each other. Uh, I saw Mikey J Productions going live, JLS Gaming. It's just really cool to see people on the weekends, um, you know, really playing their games, sharing their love of gaming with other people. So definitely check out those channels if you like some gameplay stuff. But there's, we got a yeah. refill, got Cleo Cat. I wanted to show you House of the Dead 4 since we kept going. Might as well just do one through two, two, three, four. And then we'll go back to Bang Bang Pew Pew. Okay. Finish it off. Maybe I never set up the coin buttons for this. All right, bro. Press start button. Aww. Cleo, would you like to say hi to the fine folks online? Hi, Cleo. Oops. All right, let's see. If any of these buttons work. Uh, looks like none. And they have, are those called Uzis? Uzis, yeah. So House of the Dead 4 has Uzis. Maybe I did not map my start coin buttons for House of the Dead 4. All right. I lied. We're not going to be able to do House of the Dead 4 right now without me going through some button mapping. So let's just go ahead and end that. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. Let's go back to Bing Bing Pupi, though. I want to yes. see if that thing works. So we're going to go back to my modern shooter playlist. And go up. These are some really fun games too. Bang bang pew pew. I need to get some 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 background art for that so we can get that going. I got some Ur Kongs. <sighs> All right. I'm gonna test it out. Excuse me. Miscuzi, miscuzi. All right. So we're going back to Bang Bang Pew Pew. This is a, a game that's now available on Steam that I backed on Kickstarter, and uh, we're gonna try testing out some single player. Apparently, your mom is doing laser cats. <laughs> Let's just do arcade mode and do all three of them, all, all the stages, and see if I can do it. So protect the runner, press 2 to jump. So I'm going to shoot off screen to jump, I think. It's oh. what's going to work. Have a great right, one. So, Bye, Sauce. So yeah, there it is. I, I off screen. Vessel, oh, see, look. Off screen jump. That still has a Korean friend ah. named Songs. All right. So I, I shoot <laughs> off screen to jump. Oh, that's what the er comes with. Yeah. Jump. Oh, you, so you do, so you do yeah. shoot off screen. OK. And then I can shoot the, the baggies. The so, baggies. So my second button is essentially is shooting off screen. Oh, nice. So you don't need the pedal. Yeah, so you don't need the pedal. So that's how the gun for our was set up. So I just shooting off screen. So shooting off screen actually does reload. And she just jumped to her pit of death. Oh. 
There's a lot going on with the gun. Yeah, you gotta thingy. shoot bad guys. I think I would prefer the pedal to like jump. So then, if you had a two pedal gun, would it just be on the side? What's that? If you had a two button gun, two pedal gun. Uh, yeah, like you can either press the button on the side. Oh, there's so many things to do. Holy crap! Okay, jump. Ah, ah. Oh, she has a mine. All right, so that was actually pretty hard. Cool. Number twenty three. Oh, your gaming techie has this too. I really like how there's a leaderboard for this. All right, so that's cool. That's that's good to know. Now I can shoot off screen. All right, so knock everything off the platform, score points for saving ammo, press number two to reload, score 1,000 points. So we get... You okay? You okay? All right, so I got to use less bullets and score more points. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Okay, try to use less ammo. One, two, three. Yeah, that was a good, oh, almost had momentum to knock that off. Here we go. Here's the dominoes. One, two, flap, 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 flap. Keep going. Flap, 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 flap. I got to unlock more stages so I don't, I have to play these like same stages over again. But it's good to know that my shooting off screen is the, the button two. Should have figured that out earlier. So it's good to know how to use your gun games. All right, go, 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 go. Don't make some. I think we have a broken cow. Oh my goodness, look at that cow. All right, complete in 35 seconds. Aw, oh, dang it, I didn't get any things. I'm 27 on this game. Oh no. I am going to be going for the leaderboards though. Ugh. My goodness. Moo cow. We were a broken cow. Moo cow. All right, here we go. Whoa. TK Fox says, good morning, Kongs. Oh, good morning. He just woke up, too. I know. Uh, the reload didn't really work that well, though. I'm shooting off screen to reload. This is the game where I kind of want to reload, but it's not reloading as fast as like I want it to. Oh, it's taking really long to reload. Oh, the reload is so slow. Oh my goodness. In full honesty, Mystery and Color just woke it up right before the stream started. The first stream or the second stream? I usually miss them because you do them too early. Yeah, we do them too early. So we should do it more at this time? Actually, I don't know because <laughs> I got stuff I need to do. And I don't mind yeah. er, er, starting my day with a drink before. Yeah. I mean, what? I don't 4, mind. 4,000 points having breakfast okay so at least we figured out that shooting off screen does help you reload stuff up it's 40 shots without missing i like that there's a lot of things here i don't like that we don't we can't open up but oh, this is a pendulum one yeah shoot I the blue thingies one. shoot the blue ones i think it's this bottom bar that feels stressed out that you don't want to read anything you just want to start the game right yeah. away kind of just wait 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 for the blue one Oh, dang it. I hit the gas can. You hit the ass can? The gas can. Yes, you did. You hit the ass can. <laughs> yes, you ass can. All right. I'll, more th I'll earn three more stars to unlock juggling. All right. Go back. That's a new one. Yes, you ass can. Yeah. All right. I think I'm good. Uh, that's Zang Bang Pew Pew again for folks that didn't see the earlier part of the stream. This is a brand new game that's available on Steam. Check them out if you're interested in it. I paid for this on the Kickstarter, so I just wanted to do some gameplay of it. It's the release weekend. I love checking out new games. Mrs. I, Kong's Rest, any final thoughts? We are not paid to do any of this stuff. This is true. I'm not a shell. Are we shells? You a shell? I'm not getting any money for doing this. <laughs> we did get some super chats, though, from the community. But thank Wait, you very much. Uh, Mrs. Kong, what do you think about me getting another outrun? Wait, what? What? You got another outrun? No. Oh, I have that stock oh, that one. one. Remember, I sold one, but I got a different one. Oh, I have to check with your mother-in-law, see how she feels about that. Uh, but she's sure. like me, probably mm -hmm. angry. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and close it out for the stream for today. Thank you all so much for coming in and watching. This was fun to do another late afternoon Sunday fun day show. Appreciate everybody that's been here. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. And uh, we will see you next time before I do another show. Another morning. Next show. week. It's Easter. Do you want to do a show on Easter next week? Holy cow. Easter Sunday. Can you believe it?
It is Easter Sunday. It's also Khmer New Year's coming up. It is. Happy Cambodian Happy New Year. Cambodian New Year. Yes. Cheers, everybody. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.